Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Lee Piss Live. We're so thrilled to bring you information about the upcoming women's conference that's going to be taking Southwest Florida by storm. Mm -hmm. And for the first time on the show, we have two dynamic divas, <laughs> Pastor Deb and El Elder D. Nice. Let's bump you in, ladies. So excited to get y'all here because y'all doing something in the community. Y'all look like y'all moving and shaking. It's like, we ain't got time to be playing around. <laughs> Amen. That's right. You know what, Pastor Deb, I'm going to start with you for a particular reason. I can tell you don't have time to be playing around and you're very serious because I'm real busy. So when I send out an email like I did to you, boom, you respond immediately. That tells me everything about a person. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you something else I noticed. And y'all, this is nothing related to this, but I like talking about it. When I go to a hotel or I go to a business office or anything, Depending how fast their elevators move, mm -hmm. I can determine the quality and the service of that company. Mm -hmm. And the person who made sure that those elevators move, mm -hmm. their manager or everybody, hey, we don't want these slow elevators. They are detailed and they're about the business. Just That's start right. noticing. Amen. That's right. When you go to a high-rise building or a hotel or anything, mm -hmm. notice how the elevators move. It's going to be directly tied to the type of service you get there. Amen. 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 <laughs> so the, the women's conference elevator was like, boom. <laughs> I'm like, oh, they got a real elevator here going. These ladies not playing. Amen. All right. Uh, let's go with your titles. You are El uh, you're a pastor. B both of you are in the clergy world, right? Yes, so, sir. So uh, just uh, let's sum that up first. Who are you in terms of elder? I am Elder Denise Napoleon, mm -hmm. and I am with the Divine Community uh, Church uh, out of Cape Coral in Fort Myers. Okay. And I have been serving the community here in Lee County for over 40 years. Okay. So I'm so excited to be here today to tell you about the latest conference and where we're going with that. We will be talking about Amen. that. Amen. And I am Pastor Dr. Deb Walsh, and I am pastor of Divine uh, Connection Community Church, and I am excited to be here. It's an honor and privilege. Where is Divine Community Church located? Uh, right now, we are co-fellowshipping with another church um, on Lincoln Boulevard, okay. uh, the Trinity Church, and, um, you know, we are on the move. Okay. We go and and. You know, what are your hours? Get to the point. We are um, from 11 to 12 uh, on Sundays. We also have a Bible study on Tuesday nights starting at 7 uh, to 8. And we also do other active things in the community. We feed um, at the Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we are going to be going to the nursing home, um, Evans, on Christmas Day, handing out gifts. So... Uh, we're all about the community, Thanks. less about the building. Your hours? Our hours are from 11 to 12. Uh, we also have a home health agency that we are open 24 hours, seven days a week. Mm -hmm. And I think that God's people need to be open 24 hours, seven days a week because there's always somebody that needs us, mm -hmm. and we are going to be available. What is Mount Movers Water Walkers Women's Ministry? <laughs> I'm glad you asked because Mountain Mover and Water Walker. Mountain it's, Movers. Mountain Movers. It's actually a faith, uh, showing our women of faith. And we are a women's ministry mm -hmm. uh, that was started because, uh, to be honest, we were looking for a woman's conference, a large event where we can go and be uh, fed, be trained, get a word, um, rest and relax. And to go to an event like that, it took us going to Jacksonville or the Carolinas. And we have so many wonderful women here that uh, why add the cost mm -hmm. of hotel, travel, food uh, on top of the conference? We need to start at something here. When is the conference? The conference this year, in, well, in 2024, March 17th and 18th, will be at the Dunbar Community Center in, on High Street. Uh, the year previous, it was in Cape Coral at the Westin. So we will be uh, at different locations as the Lord grows us. That's a great location. I love doing good, uh, events there. Are you going to use that big auditorium? We are. Yeah. There? We are. Use some of those breakout rooms? We there? are. It's perfect. It's perfect. Absolutely. Uh, who, uh, who are some of the 
attendees and who can be attendees at this conference and uh, um, how excited are you about it? I am, uh, Lee, very excited about the conference. Uh, last year, we had over 100 women mm -hmm. just from the local community. This year, we're actually expecting um, 300 women. Mm -hmm. uh, we have women coming from Tennessee, Ohio, Indiana that has already bought tickets and mm -hmm. purchased them from us. So that excites me that women are coming from afar just to get a word from God. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been through so much this year, Lee, with the COVID last year and the hurricane this year. We need to pull it together. What can people women, expect at the conference? They can expect, number one, for the Holy Spirit to yeah. show up, have a time of relaxation, just gathering together with a bunch of women giving God praise. Mm -hmm. So I'm just so excited. Women just running things. <laughs> just running things. And that's what we intend to do. We intend to run for God. So, yeah. 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 The um, you, you guys mentioned last year, was it extremely successful as well? We were. We were. I bet. Uh, last year, we were, we had a band uh, last year, um, the Backyard Movement Band. They are from a local church in Cape Coral, Cape Christian. Uh, they really set the tone to bring the Holy Ghost in last year. Uh, we had some uh, good food last year, and this year we're going to have, we uh, hired a five-star chef. Right. So mouth-watering, and we're ready to taste it. And see, people can always know that if you, you if it was great last year, you're going to try to exceed that That's right. Year. That's if right. If you attended it last year, you definitely don't want to miss it. You definitely don't want to miss it this year. Right, all right. Uh, what is the theme of the conference? Uh, 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 Pastor Deb, yeah. Doctor, I want to put that. Doctor, there. Pastor Deb. Pa no, <laughs> Pastor comes first, right? Pastor, Doctor, Deb. Right. Somebody Pastor told me that Reverend, uh, yes. Reverend uh, uh, Glover over at Mount Hermon oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. told me that, that, great. Yeah. that the yeah. Rev comes first. That's right. That's right. Um, we we really fasted and prayed, Elder Denise and I, on what the Lord wanted to have us focus on for the theme this year. And really it was pursuing the heart of God. It's about the love of God. And he says, with loving kindness, I drew you. And so really it's going to be phenomenal because God is all through this event. We've Amen. been seeing his hand in every detail Amen. from the uh, place that we are having it at, the venue to the speakers, the divine connection. We also, you know, have a play Friday night and that Amen. too was a divine connection. A production manager, she's from England, is going to be doing the play Friday night. Mm -hmm. And so we're just honored yeah, that, that God is is all through this Amen. and it's it's going to be phenomenal. Amen. The, um, getting tickets, getting to be a part of it. One can go to your Facebook page, and, and is there an old-fashioned phone number they can call as well? Please provide. I have uh, not only leave the Facebook page they can do, uh, they can get tickets on eventbrite.com. Okay. And an old-fashioned phone number, I think, would be a 239 number, which is a local number. Uh, six four five three one nine eight will be available for the conference line. Yeah. They will be on the Facebook and on the Eventbrite. Yeah. It will be Mountain Movers and Water Walkers. Yes, sir. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all divas, uh, <laughs> Mountain Movers and Water Walkers. Yeah. Woo, gonna be some Holy Ghost yes. up in there. <laughs> You guys will be happy to know that my mom is a minister. Amen. Saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Amen. Ghost. Amen. Yeah, so I grew up in the Holiness Church. That's beautiful. Uh, I might even stick my hand in there. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, so uh, um, how much are the tickets? The tickets are, if you want to attend Friday night only mm -hmm. uh, for the play production, will be only $15. Okay. If they want to attend the Saturday, which is the conference, it is $75. Mm -hmm. If they like to attend both of those venues, it will be $90 total. I see. Do uh -huh. y'all have vendors out there as well? You can do your sale, your goods and services? We will have some items there and so more to come on that. Mm -hmm. well, I'm so We're glad excited. you have it in the heart of the community. Yes. Amen. That's Amen. Perfect. That stays the acoustics in there. Yes. It's going to be nice. We're excited. I put on events there and it was just really nice. That's nice. Yeah. Yes. That's Dunbar Community School. That's May. That's March 17th through the 18th. That's yes, sir. People need to start gearing up, right? Yes. 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 Essentially, that's right around the corner. Right around it the corner. Is. 
It is. You're starting to get some response now from people already? Yes. We are. We've gotten a lot, mostly out of town response we've gotten lately. Mm -hmm. So we're glad, but we want the women to uh, uh, be serious about the tickets because I want them to be able to attend that. Mm -hmm. But the tickets are selling really fast. So we hope that they really can take heed to this and come out and help us to worship and uh, get this thing off the ground. And bring in some, some, when you say out of town, you bring in tourists into town, stimulating mm -hmm. the economy, that's people right. discovering this beautiful yes, area. So the city of Fort Myers and whomever needs to get right behind this as well. That's yes. Right. We like that. Uh, what, what, what can we expect in the coming years? We're going to um, in continue to do the conferences every year. And um, we expect God will order our steps mm -hmm. and we have seen growth yeah. year over year mm -hmm. and you know we just go where he leads us but we anticipate that we will be growing um, even out of this venue that um, you know our God gives us the increase and mm -hmm. and we ask God what number we have to uh, work with this year and he, we fasted and prayed and he gave us 300 so yeah. God already knows you. He already knows who's coming to the conference mm -hmm. because he gave us the number. Amen. We don't know your name yet, but he knows your name. Amen. Amen. And he's doing all this for you. I can't even tell you how I myself am impressed in how he's in the details and how much he wants you to know that you are loved amen, and that you are not forgotten and that you are someone that he died for. Mm -hmm. And honestly, one of the things that I am amazed with is how we have not only grown our conference league, but we've grown our leadership team. Amen. We now have over 20 women leaders in different churches throughout the community that are on the leadership team, Amen. elbow to elbow, like helping that. us to Beautiful. plan and organize this. And um, as part of the leadership team, um, also provide training Amen. to encourage them and to help them to grow individually, but also to do what? Go back and grow their own women's ministries in their churches Amen. and in their Amen. communities. So it's not about us. It's hmm. really about you. Amen. It's about what God wants to do in your life and for you. Amen. Elder D. Nice, one of the things, just seeing the two of you sitting here too, it represents a great spirit of diversity. When you go to that conference, you see all races, ages, and all types of women. That's one question. Yes. And number two, can men come? <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all get that all the time. Um, or if I come up here, I'm going to be the only man. I mean, I'm Lee Pitt. I can come. Lee Pitt. I can come. So to answer that, uh, Lee, uh, the diversity is wide. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, we had all nationalities, all cultures. We had girls from Philippines and Brazil and Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we it was just international mm. diverse. We just had women from everywhere. Uh, just praising and giving God glory and honor and just absolutely. raising yeah. their hands to the Lord. It was yes. just absolutely fantastic. Um, men, uh, some men are asking us to come and we're not opposed to men coming. It's just a, a day that we thought ladies could fellowship together because ladies, you are so loved by God yeah. and so valuable yeah. to God. And we have so much to be thankful And your agenda for. is more so catered to the women and what they need to yeah. be doing? Yes. Right, because yes. I've been to men conference yes. and there was no yes. women there. Right. Yes. But I just had to ask the question. That's fine. That's yes, yes, fine. Yes. But Senior Lee Pitts can come in here. Lee can do whatever he wants to do. Anywhere he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if I come rolling in there with those cameras. I'll be right there. We yeah. might have that yes. conversation. Yes, yes, thank you. Um, I'm going to give both of you, and I know you can preach and talk, 30 seconds each one of you to look in that camera and make your co final comments to uh, our viewing and our uh, listening audience on radio, starting with you, Elder Denise. Thank you. And be nice. Uh, be nice. So from Elder Denise nice to you, uh, thank you, Lee Pitts, for having us here today. Uh, to this you. is our first Man. show, so we're uh, very pleased to be here. Uh, I would just like to say at the end of my little thing to you, that not I'm waiting for you to come, but God is mm -hmm. waiting for yes. you to come. Amen. Uh, he has a heart for you. 
Yes. He has a heart for me. Mm. I am only sitting here talking to you by the grace of God. Hallelujah. I have been through a lot in my life, could not have even made it mm. without God being by my side and keeping me covered mm. from my head to my toe. Ladies, you don't have to be where you're at. Mm. Come out. I want you to be encouraged. I want you to feel love. I want you to know that you are somebody. Mm. God made each and every one of us individually made, yeah. wonderfully made. Mm. You are wonderfully made. We're expecting to see you on March 17th and 18th. And from my heart, I just want to say that I know some of the community will watch this that personally has known me for over the 40 years that I have served in your community, Amen. taking care of the elderly in the community. If you can't afford the ticket, I want you to call me. Mm -hmm. And I mean that from this to you. Pastor Dale. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Anything you want to add to that? Well, th she said it so eloquently and perfectly. Um, the only thing that I want to add is that women, you are such a huge part of this community. You have such a huge impact. You are a wife. You are a mother. You are um, in your job, in your workforce. You are in the community. You may even be a member of a church already. You pour into so many lives, and your impact on these lives is huge. You help build the future. But if you keep pouring out you will soon get devoid. You need to come and be filled. Yes. You need to come and get filled with the love of God, get filled with the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. You need to come and, and feast at his table and you know just how precious you are because what we are seeing as leaders already is amazing what God has in store for you. And we won't know until we meet you, until you come. Mm -hmm. And so we look forward to meeting you. We are excited Amen. to meet you. And we love you already. Amen. Let me bump them out. They are here, the divas. Great job, ladies. Looking forward to working with you in the future as well. Thank you. Yes. Stay people. right there. As the saying goes in this particular show, for those who say it can't be done, they're usually interrupted by those like these fine ladies who are doing it. And remember, Miami may have the oranges, but this upcoming women's conference has got the juice. Got the juice. We'll be right back. Lee Pitts Live is a Lee Pitts Enterprise production. Hello, everybody. This is Lee. I'm so glad that you watched that particular show. And if you enjoyed that show, we got other shows like that. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch Lee Pitts Live on demand anytime. And also hit us up on all our social media platforms. Just type in Lee Pitts Live and there you go.